the good news where we go spelunking in the good news cavern. <laughs> and with me Splunk. here is my human <laughs> news co-pilot, Rossi Ross Matthews. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, Splunky. Spelunky. Oh. Well, guess what? what? I'm very excited about this first story um, because mm. nobody does it like Cardi B. She's a beautiful unicorn of a woman, and people report <laughs> that Love Cardi her. says she really wants a new tattoo of her baby's name, and she wants it on her face, um. right on her jawline. Mm. Cardi and rapper Offset had a son in September, and they have yet to share his name, and this is certainly one way to present it out into the world. Ross thoughts. Okay, I love the sentiment of getting a tattoo with you. That's sweet, Cardi. Now I can't get behind a face tattoo, I just can't do it. Uh, I, I, because here's the deal, if you get a tattoo of somebody's name, don't you wanna look at it and see it? But the only way you could see this one is if you looked in the mirror and then it'd be backwards. That's not gonna work, dear, that's just not gonna work. It's true. Plus if you get like a name on a jawline, as you get older, it's sort of, so if you get like, right? If you get like Karen here, it's gonna be Karen. <laughs> That it's not, it's not cute. That does worry me. Mm -hmm. And you do not strike me as the face tattoo type. So I, I guessed. Girl, you don't know me. All right, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a bad boy. You get on your Harley at night and <laughs> rev that bad boy in your leather. Can you imagine? <laughs> oh my God, I look okay. like a village person in chaps. It's not um, gonna work. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> um, all right. So in honor of Cardi. I gave what will no, be. No, you do not. To, it, they're not permanent. Oh, thank God. Um, can thank you imagine? <laughs> okay, so I did Frankie on this side, which would show what's a little longer version if your child's name has more than, you know, let's say four letters. You do one daughter on each side? And then I did Olive on this oh. side that I really liked this placement because. Honestly, you don't even notice it very much. And my jawline is disintegrating every single year. <laughs> so, but I'm not kidding. It's giving me like contour and I kind of love it. And if it's placed right, I think this could weirdly start a new trend. I kind of get it. After I did it, it, it sparked joy. Whereas mm -hmm. at first I was like, no. And then I was like, Mar. and I'm in, I, especially in the olive one, I'm, that's different. Um, okay. I think, I think it's cuter than I thought it would be. That's the point. It's, just, it's yeah. not as jarring. If somebody had that, I'd be like, that's not bad. Yeah, okay, okay. and it's on a certain person. Um, mm, I would, I would, I wanna draw one on me right now. Just as, if I put Drew here, it just turned into droop. You know what I mean? It's just. All right, well, you, thank you, Cardi, for giving me a new idea. Yeah. All right, well, next we got a little culinary rumor cooking up. Food and Wine reports Snoop Dogg might be getting into the hot dog business. Brilliant. Yes, he just, they love it. He just filed a trademark application for Snoop Dogs with the double G. And now we, we don't know Snoop's plans yet, but he's already, he's a businessman. He's already got in Doggo Gin, uh, a Snoop Cali red wine, and he already owns the trademark for Snoop Scoops. What, who knows what he's gonna do with that. Uh, Drew, in the summer of 2022, could you see yourself grilling a Snoop Dog? I would snap a Snoop Dog. Oh, snap into a Snoop Dog. Snap into a Snoop Dog, I would. That's the double OG I'm looking for. Thank you so much. So, I'm in. Okay, next up, new year, new dating trend. Metro UK reports that singles are reincarnating. And the approach is this. Okay, so maybe the last few years of the pandemic and our entire world's being flipped upside down, turned inside out, and put in a washing machine, you know, have made people have more time to think about what they really want. Reincard dating is an answer that is a total rebirth of your dating life to match your new outlook, including possibly your bio and refreshing your profile pics and matching your new intentions with how you execute that moving forward. Ross, thoughts? Well, I think, you know, I always said this before, but dating is work. You have to put in the time and effort to get what you want. And if you haven't found it yet, 
you're not doing something right. So refreshing it all, coming at it with a new approach is so smart. And I think you should take it a step further. Not just a new profile picture. Or, I agree. I think you need to delete the account and start a fresh one. Think about this. People have already seen your account. They've already swiped by you for some reason. So reinvent yourself. Re what is it? Reincarnate? Reincarnating. Reincarnate yourself. Uh, and maybe... Uh, someone who overlooked you before will see you with fresh eyes. Okay, I don't know. I've lost faith again with the dating apps. When did this happen? I I, I took a dip because it just there. It's just it, 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 it. I think you refresh, you know, your own sort of excitement about it too. You go in and you're like, oh my god, no wonder it's like shooting fish in a barrel. Like everybody's here. Yeah. Where have I been? Mm -hmm. And then a few months later, you're like. Uh, this is so weird. Uh -huh. You know, as soon as you get into the dating app, I start to get frustrated again. It's hard. It is hard. It bums me out to hear that you're sort of over it because you. Do but go I go in and out. And, yeah, you do. I'm not. I am not. I am not cynical. I just when you, I just go in and out. Understood. It's Understood. like eating. I eat a lot and then I reel it in. You know. Oh. I'll Cyclical. get on a dating app and I'll get excited and mm. then I'll be like, you know what? I'm out again. Understood. Like, I'm, I'm a swing. Okay. I'm a swinger. <laughs> well, let's that just, no. might not go on my dating app yeah, profile. No, <laughs> delete, 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 delete. Hilarious. That's a real, real in-car dating. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, well, next up, you, anybody here watch Euphoria on HBO? Yes? <laughs> well, it's finally back for a season two. Uh, Wellington's obsessed with it. Well, we've got a makeup trend the show made famous. In Style reports this year is all about the crystal eye makeup. And it's added a little sparkle and glitz to your eyes. They do this on Euphoria all the time. And celebrities are doing it. Amanda Gorman, Machine Gun Kelly looking great. Uh, Storm Reed sporting some sparkle. And we have some here. And look, it comes on these little sheets. And you could just remove it. Okay. Um, Let me see. Is it cute? Wow. By the end of this news, I'm going to be very adorned with neck tattoos, <laughs> jawline tattoos, and <laughs> I love you this. Like? I love this. <sighs> I've never felt more myself than I feel right now. <laughs> okay, now put your leather on, go get on your Harley, and rev on out of here on your hog. Wait, which one's me? <laughs>